Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Play for Keeps Tea. And if you're a keeper, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get updates. So my house is cold, but I got shit to get off my chest because y'all got me fucked up. First of all, why the fuck the... All right, so the cops was at my door, but the only real reason why I found out that they were at my door about to walk in because my dog. So I go to the door like, uh, why y'all here? Why you about to walk in? What happened? What's going on? They like, oh, such and such, we peeped at your door, look like this, and just made up dumbass excuses to walk in my house. So my dog broke in the house. I don't like this dog for real because I have to clean up after him, but Today was a good day for him. I'm like, okay, he did his job. He, I was aware that somebody was ready walking my house, like, with guns. I'm sorry, but I don't fuck with cops like that. Two, what's the other thing that blew me this morning? Oh, my brother. Okay. I want to address this right here and there. <laughs> like, um, I didn't like how the simple fact that I put you on a flight to Baltimore just to talk shit on Instagram when you have both of our numbers. You can call me. And we could have did this family shit all in each other's face, not on Instagram, not saying, oh, you're coming to my show, not saying weird shit like, like, cause whatever. Basically, Blue, what'd he say? Blue kind of stood on what he saw. So he like, yeah, Krishan, dad is a gangster. If you watch the episode, nigga, you see my brother whispering my dad here. That's why my dad hit my nigga. So the episode didn't come out yet, though, but he already, I already flew him out here, gave him thousands of dollars to get on his feet, to get away from whatever he's running from in Baltimore. I'm thinking the family beefing with him because he wanted to be on my side and yeah, I'm with Rock, whole T, the family like, damn, you're a liar, this shit moving weird. We didn't even know that till the episode came out. So I didn't know my brother was what he was till the episode came out. Two, I'm thinking if he got beef with Blue, he wouldn't take it to, because, all right, for example, I'm not about to beef with my sister boyfriend because, and then while I'm beefing with my sister boyfriend, I just was at the nigga house, could have said all this shit to his face, could even say, rock, what's up? Ooh, like, we could have hashed this shit out. Y'all could have had a squabble. Nobody had to do this gay ass shit on, internet, on the internet. Nobody want to wake up like that on Christmas. Sorry, I didn't wake up with no family. I woke up to drama, woke up to cops in my face. I want to cry, okay? Uh -huh. Three, four. Keep saying, stop crying. Nigga, no. <laughs> this is how I keep me being me. It's gonna be a real big problem. When shit happened and I love and it's the best thing that happened and I'm so excited and I cry and I don't cry, it's gonna be a problem. Y'all gonna be scared. I'm gonna watch. Y'all keep playing, bro. Like, y'all think life is really serious. Life is so temporary. And the last place I wanted to be is on Earth. So it's like, it's a lot going on. And it's too much to point when it's like, the unnecessary bullshit can literally be talked at. Like, hey, so bro, cut it out. What do you mean? Life is short. Shit already, already fucking other people over. So what's going on? You want to like, what? Make it worse? Like, what's going on? Like, no, you not checking on me. Like, where your mental at, Rock? You over there worried about Instagram, yelling at my, my only support system, if I can be honest, other than the families that I don't know that's back in Baltimore, like Sean and Lisa and fucking Arissa. Like, I got a few motherfuckers that I can run to right now and have my back right now. If I needed 20000 30000 40000 from somebody right now, I know who exactly to call. But it's not y'all motherfuckers that's hurting me. Sorry, it's not. It's not. So it's like, it's not even worth it trying to play with me. Like, you're going to be the one motherfucker I'm going to be calling for actual help. Like, 
No. I call you because you're my big brother, and then that's the, the persona, like, oh, I want a big brother. But I don't want a brother if you're moving like that. You over there moving childish as fuck. Like, you're not 30 something. Get off of Instagram. Fuck. What the hell? What the hell is wrong with this world? Like, we really on Instagram. Got a 30 year old on Instagram playing. God, it's not even that. Like, all y'all playing. All y'all playing. Because I even told my nigga, like, don't do that. He like, why not? Because I knew this was going to start something. Like, like everybody playing. Why y'all playing on Instagram? Stop playing on Instagram. It's getting on my nerves. Because the motherfuckers that don't really be playing in real life, Instagram is the starter kit of the problem. So, again, that's scary. That's really fucking scary. Like, I'm telling you, bro, like, I don't have no fan. It's Christmas, bro. The only person I was on the phone with this morning was my little brother and my sister. But still, my little brother, that's just one, two people. That's, and they over the phone, bro. That's the closest Christmas it get. Fuck Christmas. That's the closest family it get. It's my little brother, bro. All this other shit, it became a new thing. My, bro my little brother didn't just start saying, oh, it's Rockwell. He been saying it's me and Krishan. My big brother just started it. Everybody just started this shit. Y'all love me, y'all pray for me. My sisters pray for me. Have my back, whatever they do, whatever the case may be. But if y'all did, bro, y'all would not be trying to cut a motherfucker off because they're dating a nigga that y'all don't like. Does it stop me from sending you money? No. Does it stop me from telling mommy, hey, I got this apartment for you? No. Does it stop this from providing for you? No. If you don't fuck up what we got going on, why the fuck do y'all care about my boyfriend? Y'all was never family because all the niggas that I can call right now. That's this whole lawyer family, the 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 sister-in-law that I knew since I was fucking seven, nigga. Like, and, and they don't have to agree what I got going on, but they're not finna disrespect me because they don't agree what I got going on. They finna love me unconditionally. That's what I need. I don't need motherfuckers that's been opportunities and that's been real, real quick over here, bro. Cause that's scary. And then right now, what I did in my mind, I clicked. Like, I don't even want to go out the same. I don't want to talk to the same people no more. I'm going to reshift, regroup, back up, fall back. Like, what? The fuck? That's so worried about this, this nigga. Like, let me do the worrying. And I'm barely worrying. I'm busting nigga in the head myself. Y'all over there. Rock this. Rock is. Got her own two feet and own two hands, nigga. Love me unconditionally. Stop worrying about what, what's, what's going to feed you on Instagram. If you start a beef with a nigga. Y'all got me fucked up. Everybody got me fucked up. Real shit. Real shit on Christmas, though. Like, real shit. On Christmas, though. Not the only reason why I'm gonna pull out my phone, my face look real like crazy. I've been crying. It was about the end of this time. I've been here on an hour. So this new episode, it got nothing to do with my family. It just got me popping my shit because I'm that bitch on earth for real. Trending all types of shit and don't need shit for nobody. But that's by the grace of God. That's the next episode. It's a little bit of drama, but it's me popping my shit. And then some other shit with blue. But y'all already seen that other shit on Instagram.